here. I hope your day is going wonderful. I'm so glad you're joining me. Today I'm super excited to share a project with you. We're using the Simon Says Stamp Love Bulb Dye and we're also going to be using some foil transfer cards. I haven't foiled before um, using transfer cards so I thought we'd put it pair these two together and create a card. These two are actually part of brand new Simon Says Stamp Sweetheart release. Um, I'll leave the entire release down below if you want to check it out. Lots of crap, crafty happiness over there. Um, and I'm going to be foiling today with the Simon Says Stamp and Deco Foil Rose Gold uh, transfer sheet. So let's go ahead and grab one of these. I'm excited about this. I have my laminator over here uh, warming up. And I haven't used it in a while. I could actually smell the heat coming from it. I don't know if you have that, that iron kind of smell. But the one I, the laminator that I have is from Amazon. Um, there are several fun transfer cards in here. There's XOXO, there's hearts. There's some, some overlapping hearts. And then we have a greeting that says love. I think for today's card, we're going to be using the XOXO. I think that's going to make a great background. And we are going to use the less glossy side. I'm going to add my foil over the top using my scissors. I'm just going to trim away what's overhanging. We will trim away the top also. And I'm going to put these pieces back in my, my foil pack because you never know when they will come in handy. Okay, I have a, just a piece of regular printer paper here. I'm going to add this to my transfer card and let's see what this does. I think we're going to go sideways with this. And we'll just let it do it th do its thing. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and take out our transfer card. I'm a little nervous, so I don't know how well my machine's going to react. So I'm not going to pull it away completely. And it looks like I have a few little splotches here. I'm going to run it through one more time. Because in this top corner, it doesn't look like it foiled too well. So let's run it through one more time. I'm glad it's still working. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try this one more time. Let's take a look. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Oh, and it just foiled lovely. Let me, I am actually gonna put this behind some of my teal colored cardstock so you could actually see it. That is super fun. Okay. And I'm pretty sure we could probably use the negative side of this too. And we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of die cutting. And we're going to take our love bulb. I think this is so playful and so fun. What we're going to do is take some colored cardstock. And I need a, some white cardstock too. I'm going to be using some pinks and some reds for my card today. We're going to take the love bulb. I'm going to cut this out with my pink card stock. I'm going to cut it out with a darker pink. And then I'm going to just use this red scrap piece of paper and I'm going to cut out a, a heart with it. We're going to do some switching and mixing and matching with this. And I'm also going to cut this out with some white card stock. So I'll be back with a red heart and then three different colors of bulbs. And you know what, while we're die cutting, I'm also going to bring in my scallop stitches die set. I'm going to use the smallest one in here. Using the same color cardstock here, I'm going to die cut out a border with this. Since we're die cutting, we might as well do our die cutting all at once. So I will be right back. So I have my scallop border. I'm going to put that with my XOXO panel. And then we have our three light bulbs. What we're going to do is do a little switching with them. So I'm going to use the pink outline here. Punch out these pieces. 
And for this one, I'm not going to use the outline of this. I'm just going to use the heart with this one. But you could wear it very well keep that for another project and then I am going to use the white outline we'll just punch out the bottom part of it okay so we have these two pieces and then we have all four of these hearts I'm just going to use the red one and we'll use the darker pink and then these two we're going to put aside you could put them on the inside of the card if you wanted, but I'm just going to put them aside. I wanted the base here of our light bulb to have a little bit of shimmer. And since we used rose gold foil, I'm going to bring in some uh, Simon Says Stamp rose gold cardstock, mirror cardstock. I'm just going to go ahead and flip this over. I'm going to add some adhesive behind here. Anything that's overhanging. And I'll do the same thing with our pink one. Now that we have the bottom of our light bulb, you see that little shine? I think that's going to work great. I have a piece of vellum. The vellum that I'm using is from Hero Arts. It's Hero Arts layering vellum. It's really strong stuff. I'm going to flip this over. Just using my tape runner, I'm going to add some adhesive on the reverse side carefully. And then I'm going to tack this down. And I'm going to use my scissors. Okay, go around it. Okay, so you can kind of see through it still, but, um, Kind of has a little bit of transparency through there. Now we're going to go ahead and add our red heart in its place. And this light bulb is good to go. And then when we pop this up, we have a nice spot here and here. I'm going to add some foam tape behind here. And you won't be able to see it behind the light bulb. I'm going to do the exact same thing to this light bulb. Okay, what I'm going to do is take my foil transfer sheet. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to add some adhesive to the back side. We're going to tack this down. The nice thing about the dot liner that I use is um, you can't see it behind these transfer sheets. I don't want any stitch detail on my panel, so I'm going to use my Hero Arts Infinity dies. And I'm maybe a little bit smaller. What I want to do is trim this down. I think that's a good size. Okay, we're going to use this. I was a little nervous about it not foiling or not cutting all the way through, but I think we did good. Okay, so that is our background panel. Okay, I'm bringing in a strip of red card stock. This is a three quarter inch tall strip, and I'm going to place this on the bottom. Let's see. I think I'm going to lower it just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to flip it over and we're going to trim away what's overhanging. And then I have our strip of pink cardstock. We're going to add some adhesive behind here. I'm going to tack this down. And then I have a strip of diagonal striped paper. The one that I like to use is from my favorite things. Um, it's called Black and White Stripes. I think they still have, Simon Says Stamp still has this in the shop. And um, it's, it's my favorite. We well, you, you can tell I have no more. I have just some bits and pieces left. Um, but you can also use the front page too for your stripes. But it just has the diagonal and then the vertical or it could be horizontal stripes. 
nice paper pad if you like stripes on your cards. Seems like I use black and white stripes mostly during Valentine's Day because I love red with them. But I trimmed a strip down that's about an eighth of an inch. I'm going to tack this down just above my stitched line on that scalloped border. And then we will trim away what's overhanging here. We're going to arrange our light bulbs in the center here. And I'm going to go ahead and remove the release paper off of these. And I just love doing this. I'm going to just tie a bow off to the left with this. So cute. I just love that shine. Okay, I'm going to flip this over and we're going to put some foam tape behind here. Before I remove the release paper, I'm going to bring in an A2 panel of white cardstock and I'm going to create an embossed background. I'm going to be using the Spellbinders 3D embossing folder called Corrugated. I haven't used this in a while and I think instead of going vertical, we're going to go horizontal with our corrugated pattern. I'm going to run this through my die cut machine and I will be right back. Okay, I went ahead and I did spray it with water um, with Spellbinders 3D embossing folders. It's kind of important, especially with a corrugated, corrugated um, uh, embossing folder because I found that it does crack. And we're going to take our corrugated panel. I'm going to add some adhesive behind it. Again, this is an A2 panel, so it's going to fit the front of my card face beautifully and we're just going to leave this white. We're going to tack this down right in the front and then I can remove the release paper off of our panel here. And I'm going to tack this down right in the middle. Actually, should we round the corners? No, we'll just tack it down right in the middle. I'm going to use my glossy accents and we're going to go over the hearts here. Okay, I'm going to use my tool here. I have a little bit that went on the outside, so I'm just going to clean this up a bit. Okay. And you've seen me do this before. I'm going to bring in some of my Studio Katia Chunky Sparkle Glitter. I love doing this. I'm just going to use a little piece of... I'm going to use the leftover from our scallop border there. And then I'm going to scoop a little out. And I'm going to add just a little bit to that glossy accents. I just love doing this. Okay. I'll link a couple videos at the end where I did this. And this looks a little bit cloudy, but when it dries, it's going to dry clear. And that will finish my card today. I'm not going to add a greeting because I think the, the hugs and the kisses in the background will do that for me. My card today is actually part of the Simon Says Stamp Sweetheart Blog Hop. Um, it's a blog hop and giveaway. I'll leave a link to the block up down below. I'll leave Simon Says Stamp. This is a great place to start because it's always at the beginning. Um, and I'll leave my coordinating blog post down below. If you want to head on over, there's a giveaway to go with it. And lots and lots of inspiration with the Sweetheart release over at Simon Says Stamp Shop. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a lovely day and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.